One, two, three, four. What's up YouTube, this is Fraser, back with my good friend Anton for episode 3 of Vlogger in Paradise. <laughs> who am I and who's my daddy? Who are you and who's your daddy? Well, I am probably the best friend that Fraser's ever had, you know. Debatable. I am, you know, I'm an amazing poker player, I'm humble. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, we met playing poker actually, me and Fraser. So, um, so I think it's fitting that I was How long the person ago that you interviewed. How long ago was that now? Must have been six, seven years ago. Yeah, seven. Probably. Yeah, probably seven. I think poker is definitely something that we have in common that's quite special because um, not that many friends of ours are into it. Did you ever know anyone before me that was as obsessed as you are at poker? Like, live, no, breathe, no, sleep. no, me neither. So I think we're meant to talk a little bit about our exploits together yeah. as poker players, reminisce, we look have, back at we the have good times. Had, uh, Tell me about the Havana Club. Oh, what I didn't expect that, that to come up. What does that mean? That means you and me, yes. drunk, yes. sitting together at early hours in the morning, playing heads up poker. Correct. And what usually happens? One of us cries. Yeah. Normally you. I think. Uh, and you, and you often come out really upset. You even said in my wedding, didn't you? But, uh, yeah. It would often end in tears. Me storming out, you chasing me down the road. Which that I don't, always happens. I don't, it's like a romantic, I don't remember it's that. Like a romantic bit. drama. You're in my shoes. You've won this amazing competition, and yeah. you have. I'm going to paradise. You have four months to prepare. Okay. Okay. Um, like historically, we play in small pub games and sometimes in the casino. Correct. How on earth do you plan and prepare for a $25,000 tournament? Well, I think I would have to take a number of steps, right? Yeah. I would, first of all, I would definitely try and get some practice of these kind of bigger buying events. Okay. So I would buy well, in for like, like 200 pounds at a time, okay. so maybe like some of these Aspers or Hippodrome uh, tournaments that they have. Yeah. And that's just to a, play a better structure than our usual turbo bullshit. And B, just to get familiar with that feeling and like just kind of like this sick feeling of playing for money. Yeah. That actually counts a little bit. Okay. A bit of cider. All right. The question is, Anton Zeichen. Yeah. I wonder what it'll be. And believe it or not, they talk about this in lots of podcasts. We've actually spoke about this at length. About three seconds ago. Uh, we spoke about it a little while ago. Um, usually after a few drinks. And the question, the golden question, is always, who is your dream lineup? Yeah. So it's a cash game. You sit down. You've got six other heroes to sit down beside you. Who do you choose, and why? Why do you choose? Okay, that's a good question. That's a good question. And I think my my choice is going to be somewhat old school, okay. for the most part. And that's probably to do with the fact that. The new school are really boring? Well, they can be, but also when I sort of first got into poker, you know, people were a little bit different in terms of their demeanor and how they played. They were just characters. Yeah, they were small characters. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so my list is going to be a little bit outdated. Okay. But start with an easy one. Let's throw Danny on the ground. Oh, okay. Danny Negrani. Classic. Classic you know, choice. He is probably the most influential poker player in the world? today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. uh, Nick Shulman, probably the greatest commentator today. He is probably my number one choice in He's fact. got a really sexy voice. He well. does. He's very seductive. Smooth. Yeah. Um, who else? Uh, good Alfie Ivy. Yes. You know, legendary. Yeah. And this might surprise you, but I will get 
all the fills in. Phil Helmuth. You've got to have the poker brat. You've got to get the brat in. Yeah. Just for entertainment and comedy yeah. value. He's going to blow up. It's going to be hilarious. hilarious. It's going to be It's going to be great. But in order for him to blow up, I need to invite another guest. Ooh. And that is Tony G. Ooh. Those two, like, wow. fine. And my final pick would probably be Vicky Corrin. Oh, perfect. Legend, legend of the, the UK only poker scene. Two time the only two-time EPT champion. Main event winner. Now that we're really good friends. Yeah. Yeah. He's been in my uh, wedding. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't really ever get to properly meet him properly. Yeah. So, I got you a little present. Ooh. That's exciting. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. That's a really cool gift. Look at this, guys. Favorable. Classic. Andrew Nimi. So you, That's a really cool talk. You were a pretty favorable best man, so oh. thank you very much. I really, really like this. Yeah, good. That's an awesome talk. Good. Thank you, Fraser. Hey, you're very welcome. Come here, bro. Oh. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Okay, in summary, we've had a fantastic time here tonight. It's been lovely. It's been lovely. Uh, I've really enjoyed catching up with you. Me too. Talking about poker, talking about good times. Indeed. Goodbye. Bye. Cheers for the final time. Cheers. Anton, to recap, it's been. A Stop calling me a vlog. <laughs> Just. Listen to myself. Yeah. I've discovered my laugh, by the way. Which is? <laughs> that. <laughs> I didn't know I'd do that.